Shalom Israel. Shalom, shalom. Brother Kadog, boy, how would a brother Kadog, boy, how would I add you some more precepts? First, I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhah Kudash, which means all praise to the Heavenly Father, who worldly, who calls God, name is only begotten Son, who worldly, who calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Stephen Will, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. A strong shall I want to the Akim out there on the highways and byways pushing his work and truth to Syria. A strong shall I want to the Akawak who subscribes to his truth and subjection to his truth. And a strong shall I want to the speckled bird which are you is like forms and may like the nations are scattered into. Shall I want, shall I want. Alright, um, so I'm gonna get straight into it, okay? Because blessed are the merciful, okay? And I'm, let's just get straight into it. Matthew 5 and verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And who's going to attain that mercy? The whole full elect, man. On this side, a third on this side, man. Two-thirds got to die, okay? 66.6% of Israel got to die. And that 33% going to be left therein, okay? Uh, Let's get Ho Hosea. Hosea 6. Um, so they, the ones that are going to attain that merciful, you know what I'm saying, being blessed from being merciful, and obtaining mercy is that 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 remnant. You know what I'm saying, as I keep saying, the third um, of Israel, okay, if, because they gonna turn back, and this is what the Lord said when we come back to him, okay. Um, okay, this is basically an exhortation to repentance, okay. Come and let us return unto the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, for He have torn and He will heal us. He have smitten and He will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Hey Amen. So that's symbolic for um, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach dying and, you know what I'm saying, being raised on the third day, okay? You know what I'm saying? He, he's doing us the same way, okay? Through this fire here, through these fi this fire, which is the word, okay? Baptizing us in, in, in this fire, okay? Um, it's like you. So I, got, I got some precepts right now. And let's go to Joel 2. As I stated before, the remnant gonna, gonna get the um the salvation, man, okay? Joel 2, and let's get straight into it. Um Joel 2. And twelve. Therefore also now said the Lord, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. You hear that? So it says with weeping and with mourning. So the elect of Israel are gonna be weeping and mourning these times, man. Meaning praying and fasting, man. Being in the house of mourning, man, not in the house of mirth. This this shit is not about parties, man. The party um um the scriptures say the Lord winked at our ignorance at once because now it's time he, he called all men to repent. Okay, so it's, forget all the fallenness, no more parties, pa playtime is over, man, okay? All right? All right, uh, Salakia, so like, yeah. what I got for the precept? Okay, Khan, let me go down to Joel, um, 2 or 13. And rent your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your power, and he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Repenteth who of the evil? Of the evil, the ones that turn back to him. The ones that come back to him and um, rent, um, rent, rent, rent your hearts, okay? When you get into the word, um, um, Sinaki, um, rend, or, or rent, rend, if I'm not mistaken, it means to, um, um, breaking pieces, if I'm not mistaken, to rent. Um, so that means to break in pieces. So let me see if I can get the definition for that slunk here. Israel. 
It's not like usual where I find this precip. Well, I find this word, it's like here. Front. Let's get the Hebrew or Greek for that word. Okay, so, um, okay, con is the um, Hebrew word for taraf, taraf, taraf. Strong's H2963, taraf, taraf. Taraf, taraf, okay, Hebrews 2963, taraf, um, a part of speech verb, criminal root, um, okay. To um, pluck off or pull to pieces, causatively to supply with food, as in morsels, catch without doubt, feed, raven, rend in pieces. Rend in pieces, okay, and I had said that. Uh, surely tear in pieces. So, hey, so when you rent, um, you, when the Lord said, let me get that again, and rent your hearts and you, and not your garments. So when you rent your heart, man, your mind, man, and you, you tear to pieces, yeah, that old you, man. Basically, you let that old you die, man, and you renew, you renew yourself, okay? Um, through the through the power and spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Um, and that old self is getting torn to pieces daily, okay? Um, it's not like you let me see what I got here. Let's get 2 Corinthians. Because remember, sometimes you can get the precept, right? You got little precepts in the Bible right beside it, but you know what I'm saying? You want to use a little bit more wisdom than what. Let's get that. Alright, um, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, uh, 4. Let's get 4. 2 Corinthians 4. Slot it. Second Corinthians four and sixteen, for which cause we not faint, faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So, so we renew ourselves. The inward man, you gotta, you gotta tear to pieces that that old man day by day, man. You, and you're saying you gotta put on that new man day by day, man. Okay, let's go to the book of Ephesians. Just some, some real quick precepts that I got up in the spirit. All right, Ephesians four and um, I'm sorry, verse twenty-two. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, your lab, man, your heart is your mind, your lab, in the Hebrew, man, okay? So, as I just stated, you rent, which is, or you rent, you tear to pieces that old you, and day by day you put on a new you, to the best of your ability, you put on a new you, through the renewing, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. But through the scriptures, though, through through the power of spirit, you hope I shame your whole shot, man. Okay. So, come on, let's go back to the um, book of Joel. All right, Joel two and um, fourteen. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him? Even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your power. All right, so so let's get a precept. All right, because we are the meat and drink offering to the Lord, man. The, the men are on the highways and byways, man. The ones that giving their bodies up as a living sacrifice to the Lord. Hey, 
That's his meat and drink offering, okay? Which is our sales, okay? Um, something like that. Jeremiah 4. Turn on Israel, said the Lord, how about Shem Yahweh shall return unto me? And if thou will put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. So the Lord said he uh, his promises to, to deliver you, man. Okay, his, his promises. He said in Malachi 3 6 says, Um, I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob be not consumed. Okay. So the Lord is he ain't changing on his promise, man. He ain't changing on the ones that repent and come back. The true repentance, man. He's not changing on them, man. He's going to deliver them. Lord willing, we're part of the elect number, man, okay? Let's get Malachi 3 and 7. Because I just brought out Malachi 3 and 6, okay? And this will be my final precept, and I'm going to close it out. And I pray um, that this is edifying. Malachi um, 3 and 7. Even from the days of your kind. Uh, even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinance and have not kept them. Return unto me. The Lord keeps saying it. Return unto him, man. Return unto me and I will return unto you. So the Lord said, you return unto me, I return unto you, man. Y'all went a horn. I ain't cheating on y'all. Y'all cheated on me, man. Okay. I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But ye said, wherein shall we return? Hey, so Y'all, we, we, a lot of Jake asking where shall we return. Hey, this is where we return to our heritage, man. Something that the Lord gave us to be secular, peculiar people, okay? He, he gave us these laws, that's commandments to be holy, man, okay? So, hey, return back to him now. And I'm going to get that. That's the last piece I'm going to get. You know what I'm saying? Now it's the time to return to the Lord. Seek ye the Lord, man, while he may be found, man. Call upon him while he is near, okay? And that's in Isaiah um, 55, verse 6. And there, yep, kind. Um, Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh And he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon so, hey, you return unto the Lord, man, you're going to see great mercies, man. And that's that, the, 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 the ones that get that um, merciful mercy, man, okay? And I hope this is edifying. You know, so I pray this is edifying. I'm going to close out by giving our praise on the glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash. To all praise to the Heavenly Father, the world even calls God's name, only be God's Son, the world even calls Jesus Christ's name, the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and elder apostles of great millstone, steward will, peace and blessings to the uh, hopeful let. Shalom, shalom, wa ba ba ba.